Hi, this is Dr. Saab. Today I'd like to show you a couple of templates that I created for our diabetic patients to keep track of them. So we'll start by first adding the problems. So let's say our patient today is presenting with diabetes type 2 with peripheral neuropathy. So let's start adding the problem. So as you can see, all I type it is DIA2, PER, and we see it right there, diabetic peripheral neuropathy associated with type 2 diabetes mellitus. So let's select that and add that. The next thing I need to do is to create an order group so that we can uh, choose our templates. Okay, and then we're going to move our problem and we're going to choose our templates. So the first template we have is uh, the diabetes management referral and it's a point of care template. The second template is called early intervention. And it's also a point of care. And I'll show you how those work. Uh, if we wanted to do a monofilament, of course we did it in the physical exam, we recorded that. And let's say we did it on a previous physical exam and it was abnormal. And that's how we made that diagnosis. So, so we're going to see how we can document all that. So, First, we start by clicking on Diabetes Management Referral. And uh, when it opens, you can see it has several fields. So, uh, so let's expand that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to put there is today's date, uh, because that's when we're entering uh, some of the results. But if you're entering like uh, something related to like the result of the hemoglobin A1C, you'd enter the result of uh, the date of that test. So let's say we did a test for hemoglobin A1C um, a while back. So let's say we did it on April 1st. So we're going to put April 1st, 2018. And uh, let's say the result was uh, 7.2. And uh, let's say uh, on that date, we did also a microalbumin, and it was uh, negative. So we can click that one and put as negative. And the uh, patient was nearly diagnosed, uh, they're not on insulin, so we can put no. And then we, we do know that the patient has peripheral neuropathy, so we can say peripheral neuropathy. Notice that, that I'm using Dragon. All I had to do is say it and typed it for me. So the next thing we want to do is we want to do, let's say on April 1st, I did my full physical exam uh, for the patient. And uh, I'm going to put that. And uh, then I'm going to choose what things I examined on that date so, and, or what orders I did for that patient on that date. So let's say on that date I ordered a diabetic eye exam. I also did a diabetic foot exam. I also did a monofilament. And I did a skin exam. So all of those were done on the same date. So I just copied that date here. And I can enter the result. Let's say this was normal. Actually, it was not because the patient had peripheral neuropathy, so I'll just put abnormal. And then the monofilament was also abnormal. The skin exam was normal. I can also pretext like what was abnormal, like uh, decreased sensation or something like that. And then 
this is, uh, let's say I referred the patient to the ophthalmologist for diabetic exam on that date. I can, um, I just can, I can put referred here. And then, uh, and let's say I referred him two months ago. I can put the, that he was referred to in March and, uh, and then I can enter the results if I got the results back. And if not, I can look at this chart and see when I refer them, make sure I follow up on the results and enter those. Um, so that's about the extent of this template. And then after you're done with it, all you need to do is you need to click on Discuss with Patient and then close that. The next one we have is Early Intervention Services Referral. Okay, so for that one, uh, we can keep, keep track of our resource advocate referrals. So let's say when he came in April, uh, we referred him to our debit program. So I can say I referred him there. And, and the patient already attended the classes and they gave him a glucometer and he completed the program. So that way I know that I don't need to refer him again so that then he can get the, uh, so, so we don't have to duplicate services and get the templates again and all that. So this is uh, all we needed to do with those two templates today. I'll show you more templates later. So again, discuss with, pac uh, with the patient. So when the patient comes on a future visit, uh, if you want to, uh, update the same template, you can always click on find lab results and the templates will be right there. And you can just click on the diabetes management referral. And now you can update that by clicking on edit document. And it's still locked. So we need to do a couple of things to open it up. Uh, so you go to view actions, reopen and you go to send to review save it and now you can scroll down and click on edit document and you can see that it's open now and you can add a new field such as a new hemoglobin a1c or a new exam uh, or whatever you need to update and then once you're done Make sure to save it. Make sure also to save your document before you click anywhere else like another problem or so you don't lose your work. So click on save and uh, that will save your work and that template is available to update on the next visit. That's all I wanted to cover today. So thank you very much for listening and see you next time.